Good morning, everybody. Saturday, August the 8th, 2020. Uh, I got the LS3 back in the car. I got the uh, the new uh, 302-2 Holly oil pan. You can see underneath there, I got that thing installed. Um, look at the amount of clearance that there is. I mean, good God, maybe an inch at the most. It barely fits. I did come to find that you've got to have a different windage tray for this thing. Uh, so, just kind of bolted the oil pan in place. It's not finalized at all, but it's there, and I know that it's going to fit. That's what's important. This morning, my attention has been turned to the exhaust that will be running through the rockers. Uh, I wanted to give you guys a slightly more in-depth look at what I was doing this morning rather than just kind of showing you the usual update. So I have started, and I am fabricating a little box here. I have cut a hole um, 6 inches wide by 2 and 5 eighths in the rocker, and basically what I'm doing is I intend to put this little box in here uh, and you can kind of see that at that point once I put that box in there I'll be able to spray some spray paint up inside of that box which should perfectly mark where I need to cut out on the inside of that rocker I am going to go ahead and close this off I'm gonna try my TIG today uh, I regard myself as a really good uh, MIG welder and a terrible TIG welder so gonna try and box this in with my TIG. I'll show you the uh, results of that here in a minute. Wish me luck. All right, I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but um, it looks good before I weld it. All right, so my first attempt at TIG welding apart for the car was successful in the sense of the welding. You can see there that it gave me a really nice tight weld like exactly as I was hoping for and so I got a real nice you know box to put in the car now however I've just realized that it's about 30 thousandths out of square can you see that it's not perfectly square on one side so I just I can't put something like that in the car knowing that it's not perfectly square that's going to be visible from the outside I'm gonna I guess cut that weld try and figure out how to pull just a little bit of material off and re-weld it shit I figured out the conundrum. <clears throat> the blade on my tiny little reciprocating saw measured to be 30 thousandths of an inch thick. So I put a cut line, you can kind of just barely see it right there, right next to that weld, butted it back up, uh, migged it in place. Now I'm going to TIG it. That should give me the 30 thousandths I need. She's square now. All right, moment of truth. I finished my welds down with a little flap wheel there. Let's see if it fits. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, sweet. Of course, that's going to be flush. It's got to go another inch and a half inward and then be cut off flush with the rocker, but that's going to be badass. I'd also just like to say that for all you haters out there that see my heat-affected zone on my TIG welder, and you're like, hey, Ian, that heat-affected zone's the size of my ex-wife's ass. Uh, like I said in the beginning of this build series, especially with my TIG weld, uh, TIG, TIG, blah, 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 TIG welding, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm figuring it out as I go. I realize that my heat affected zone is way too big, but shit happens. So that worked out pretty well. I just took my piece right here, stuck it right up in the hole, and then I spray painted inside that piece there so I can see just where to cut. Alrighty, I have cut a hole through all three pieces of sheet metal that form my rocker. Check this out. I got my piece here. You'll notice the blue line that I've drawn on it there. So basically all I did was just slide her up in there and then trace the edges. And now I'm going to trim it to fit. Alright, there we go. There's the piece I just cut off of it right there. Moment of truth. Does it fit? Let's see what we got. Alrighty, slide this baby in there. Oh, come on, honey. Talk dirty to me. Come on, sugar. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. That is going to be one really bitchin' exhaust. Yeah. Alright, I'm getting it burned in. I sandblasted it down. Hit it with a uh, weld through primer and uh, getting it burned in. Alrighty, I have got it done. There's my exhaust coming through my rocker. You can see how I haven't finished this weld down here. I'll wait till the car's back on the rotisserie when the uh, frame jig is not in the way for that. But I'm really excited for how that came out. 
after I bring a, a custom stainless steel exhaust through here, you know, ending it right outside the car, it should give it a real race car vibe to it. Should look awesome. Quick shout out to the folks at Woodward Fab. That's woodwardfab.com. Uh, they're a sponsor of this build. One of the reasons that I'm able to obtain what I regard as pretty professional results, really nice bends, really good straight cuts, uh, is that I've got some of their equipment. Uh, being that they're such a good sponsor, wanted to make sure to give them a plug. Uh, for this one uh, here, and doing the exhaust work, I used my throatless shear. That thing makes a really, really nice straight cut and does it super fast. I also use my 48 inch uh, box pan brake. Again, thanks to the folks at Woodward Fab. If you guys want to watch more of me building uh, the 67 Nova, click subscribe. I would ask, please click that thumbs up down below. Helps me out with rankings on YouTube. Y'all take care. Have a great weekend.